Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4015 in VirtualBox. Now, I already did a video on how to install Build 4074 in VirtualBox, but this is another popular build that's out there that a lot of people use. 4074 and 4015 are the two most popular Longhorn builds, so I'm going to do a, a uh, this is an early build earlier build in the Longhorn series uh, 4015 I don't remember what the first one was but 4015 is one of the earlier builds uh, 4074 is a later build so you can see kinda how it progresses with how they did their themes and everything like that so the links in the description uh, you'll have VirtualBox you know the drill here and then VMware um, you can either get the pro version which you can download the trial or you can actually buy the product or you can get the player, which you can download the product, but I don't remember if it is still a trial or not. But if you want something that's completely free and you know it's free, download VirtualBox. It's completely free. This one, I have no idea if player is free or not. I'm pretty sure it is, but I could be wrong. Um, just comment below if I'm wrong about that. And then you'll also have the uh, Longhorn ISO in the description with the uh, password right there. And then, uh, basically, that's all you need. So, I'm going to use VirtualBox for this tutorial. And we're going to create a new machine. We're going to call it Windows Longhorn Build 4015. And... I'm going to select this as XP 64 bit since it was part of an earlier build. I'm going to bump up the RAM to a, a gig and we're going to create a virtual hard drive. It should be enough. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hit settings, storage, and then the empty disk. You're going to find that wherever it's located. Mine is located out on the uh, network. Drive there, and it's in the Longhorn folder, and it is right here. There's the ISO. You're gonna click OK, and then you're gonna go ahead and start it up. I think the last time in build 40, 40.074, uh, there was like a graphics issue that I had at least. I don't know if any of you guys had the graphics issues or not. But I was uh, one that was having a graphics issue. So you can see the Longhorn boot up screen right there. And maybe it's just something to do with VirtualBox. I haven't tried it in VMware for a while, but I think it did that in there too. But you can see it should do it. Oh, is it going to work this time? Looks like the graphics are pretty good actually right now. I don't... Hmm, yeah. This is actually better than before. The graphics were worse. Full screen this. We're going to continue this. And then they will ask you for a product key. You cannot skip this. Um, so that will be in the description. And um, I'm going to go ahead and... It's in the description with the uh, ISO. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type that in real quick. Alright, so once you get that entered in, it will give you to the uh, license agreement. So you're going to go ahead and accept that. It's a 180 day kind of evaluation trial type deal. You'll hit continue. You're going to make sure you select your uh, drive here and go ahead and select I want to format the drive with uh, NTFS. Go ahead and continue and then go ahead and continue again. And I'm just going to call this Longhorn 4015. Continue and then it's going to collect information, copy files, go through the basic setup. Uh, here and um, you're gonna have to wait this can take some time just kinda depends on um, what your computer specs are how fast this will go so you just kinda just gotta sit let it, let it run okay so it's this phase one of setup has completed it'll say your computer will restart to be in phase two so let's go ahead and hit finish and that will restart the machine Don't press any key to boot from CD. That would not be good. You don't want to go into the continuous loop like some people do. But it's kind of funny how they do it. Because they're, they kind of just are blank. They don't know. They just keep
keep going in that loop. So here we are going into phase two of the setup of Longhorn 4015. Say please wait while Windows prepares to start. It actually kind of looks like, yeah, it kind of looks like that XP setup screen. And I believe that will do a PNP detection, which it says it may take up to 10 minutes, but I guarantee you it will not take that long. Okay, so well, I don't know. Maybe the graphic, I don't know. Maybe the graphics are still messed up. I'm not really sure. It doesn't look like they are, but I could be wrong. There's just this, all, I've always had that problem for some reason. It'll just keep going. It will not take 10 minutes. Uh, I guess I could say in the last video, uh, I said expect an update video. I guess I really never got that out there. Um, I guess if I need to, I can do an update video. I can uh, update you guys on the uh, channel, what's going on. Because I'm um, sure some of you, not all of you, some of you might be curious on... Uh, as to uh, what's going on with the channel and the uh, partnership I had before and all that stuff. We're still waiting on the PNP detection, which it will not take 10 minutes. It should take less than. All right, so once that's finished, you will get uh, to this screen. It says, welcome back to Windows Setup. We'd like to ask you a couple more questions to finish installing Windows. So we're going to go ahead and do that, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and hit Next. I'm sorry, I was having an issue with the mouse there for a second. But uh, we hit Next on the screen. It should be like some maybe some user options. I'm not sure. Let's just say loading your personal settings. All right, never mind. I guess we uh, got the got past that, and you can see this is what it looked like before. And I guess it's got some adapter driver stuff going on here. You got this uh, left or right side panel here, as you can see, kind of like a uh, I don't know. It's like a the gadgets from Vista and everything like that. As you can see, it's finding a ton of drivers. I don't know why I'm installing them all, but you can see it has this kind of blue theme here. It's got this blue, just kind of textured theme here. And you can see it's still got the uh, Windows XP pictures. So I usually made mine the uh, either the soccer ball or if I could scroll down. I'd make it the, uh, whatchamacallit, I'd make it the, there's a frog on here somewhere. Okay. Well, anyway, there you go. Um, of course, it just crashed because this is a, uh, this is just a preview build. But this is how to install Windows Longhorn version 4015 in VirtualBox or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below your ideas. On future videos, I actually might start, this is kind of random, but I might start doing Madden 16 PS4 videos. I know that's kind of random, but you know, I just, I need some different variety of videos on my channel. And I can't just keep doing technology videos because I'm going to run out eventually, I guarantee it, because I'm already starting to run out of ideas for this. But I might start doing some gaming videos and Madden would probably be the option at the moment. But, um... That's about it. So um, thank you guys for watching. Like the video. Subscribe for more videos. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, and that's that's unbelievable. I can't even process. You know, I didn't even think I was gonna get to that point. I just I was just trying to do this just to help people out. But I guess it really is helping people out. If I'm almost at a thousand subs, I'm at about I think like 925 or close to right around there and I'm at about almost 175,000 video views and I just the numbers are bla they're blowing off my mind I just I can't even I, I can't thank you guys enough so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video